Today I'm going to show you how to perform a clean installation of Windows 10 onto a Surface Pro tablet. Now the Surface Pro is the original one and the copy of Windows 10 is in developer preview at the moment. Let's get cracking. Right, the first thing you want to do is put your data sticks in your machine or data stick, whatever you want to use, and right click on it and format it. And you want to put that as FAT32 and click start and then close. Once that's done, you can then use one of two methods that I find the most effective, which is the first one, uh, command line. So type CMD in, you have a little command box pop up here. Type in disk part. Okay, and you can then bring this down here. Uh, list your disks by typing in list disk. Then you want to select the disk that you want to use. So select disk three, first of all. And I'm going to clean that and then create a partition, which is primary. I'm going to format file structure equals in no not NTFS FAT32 ah! <laughs> and uh, quick as you can see on the screen there hit enter and then when that's done just hit active and then exit and exit again okay that's the first one go ahead and mount your uh, Windows 10 media copy them and paste them to that data stick so this one here, right click paste. That's the first method. The second, I'll leave that over here for a minute. The second method then is to download the universal USB installer from pendrivelinux.com, which I'll put the links into um, the description below. Click agree and then select your data stick from the list. Um, first of all, it'll ask you for a Linux distribution from this list here. We don't want that. We want to use Windows 8 installer at the bottom. Click on that and then select your ISO. So the media that you want, Windows 10 preview, open that and select your data stick, which is this one, just check that's correct, yes it's F drive, F drive, create, oh no I've got to lose my stuff, ah! it's ok click yes, <laughs> oh no, oh no, oh, ok my bad, I need to format that drive first, that would help wouldn't it, format, FAT32, start, it's full, that's what I, I could have told the software to do that, but you know, I'm not that clever, come on. Okay, so uh, universal, agree, this. create. Okay, we want to select Windows 8 again. And ISO, which is 10. That data stick, create, yes. And here we go. Okay, it's a waiting game now, so we have to wait for these two to finish. And uh, once they're done, we can then plug them into the machine. I'll show you how to do it. And this is the Surface we're using, the original Surface Pro with the cover. Uh, we'll do it on this machine here. So these are the two data sticks that you've previously seen me copy Winners 10 to. Let's go ahead and plug one in. So I'm going to use the SanDisk Cruiser here. Plug it into the side of the machine. Like so. The way that you get your Surface to boot from this um, as a boot device is you hold down the volume down key and you press the power button. So you hold down the volume down press the power button, keep holding the down button for a few seconds and let's see what this man over here is doing shall we, this man is naughty, look at him, oh he's looking at motor, oh, uh, oh, oh okay, you're looking at, what's this, oh what's this, valeting, valeting, right, valeting. should we do valeting as a business, oh, alright yeah, cool, all right, so there you go. As you can see, uh, it's booted from the data stick fine. Um, we'll go ahead and go through this setup. So English United Kingdom, this is uh, Windows 10 in beta form still, build 9841. Actually, ironically, a day before one of the major releases. Okay, I'm accepting the terms and clicking next. I'm gonna do a custom advanced install. I'm gonna delete everything that's already on here. And as you can see, you'll reclaim quite a lot of space from that, simply because a lot of it's reserved. Okay, delete, delete, go ahead and delete. It's image partition recovery, system reserved, and obviously then you just want uh, it all to be unallocated space. Okay, and finally, image recovery, delete. It's a 60 gig model this. There we go, so new partition apply. Some additional features may be created, just do it. Okay, 
next. Okay, and that's as simple as it gets really. We'll come back in a minute when it's ready for customization settings. All right, took about four and a half minutes. We're on the personalization setup. <laughs> Let's go ahead and go through that. We'll skip that setting. Go ahead and go through all this. Yes. Local name, Jake. Oh, Jake. There we go. No password because I'm a beast. Yeah, you heard me. I'm a beast. No password. <laughs> all right, here we go, guys. And this is what you get because it recognises that it's a tablet. Okay, so you'll get the Metro interface as standard. We then go ahead and go to the taskbar properties here and start menu. You can tick the box that says use the start menu instead of the start screen, click OK. It'll ask us to sign out and to change that setting. Okay, it'll come back in now, click on my name, and there we have it, the Windows 10 as we know it, looking uh, start menu. I hope this video has helped you guys and you'll see some more in the future as it's RTM'd and obviously service packed in the future as well. Thanks for watching. I'm Jake Billing and I'll catch you next time. See you later. Bye.